Hey everybody, Pete here with the River Kings. I'm in the shop today and I want to talk to you today about kayaking deck bags and what I believe to be the best one. So about eight years ago I was looking for a deck bag, I did a lot of research, and what I settled on was the Overboard 20 liter deck bag. And it has been a fantastic bag, uh, well over a thousand miles. Um, the, the main compartment is still watertight. Unfortunately, the zipper became compromised and wouldn't operate anymore, so I actually had to use a knife to get into the pouch here. That It's a little external pouch that you can put items in, so I had my phone and some things in there. So with the zipper busted, uh, I decided it was time to get a new deck bag. Like I say, I couldn't be happier with this one, but uh, eight years had gone by, and I wanted to see what else was out there. So I really poured a little research into this thing, and let me show you what I came up with. The Overboard 20 liter deck bag. I really couldn't be happier with the deck bag and the performance I had over the last eight years and a thousand plus miles. And doing the research again, I didn't want a water resistant deck bag, or I didn't want a really small deck bag. And the other option out there is to have a roll top dry bag inside the deck bag. I really didn't want to go that route. And so even though the zipper failed, that was eight long years of a thousand plus hard miles in every weather, getting beat on by the sun, class three, four rapids, portages, brush. I mean, I took this thing through every thing imaginable that would come on a kayak camping trip and it never let me down. The main compartment on the old one is still waterproof. So let me show you the features and how I hook it onto Nana here. So basically it's a 20 liter roll top dry bag with some attachment points and an outer compartment with the zipper. It also has a couple hooks for a shoulder strap they send with you. I never use, I think I've already tossed it. But basically you just roll it up like any other dry bag and then clip it together and that's waterproof sitting on your deck right there. So it has this little bungee area good for sunglasses or other small items. Uh, good one inch webbing with buckles. Everything snaps well. None of those had broken. I never had any issues with the buckles or the straps or the bungee or the barrel lock or basically anything except the zipper. And zippers are always a point of failure on a piece of gear. So like I say, I'm happy with it. So first off on Nana here, I've run perimeter lines uh, out of 550 paracord and you can run something similar some sort of kind of rigid rope I do not recommend that you hook a deck bag to bungee cord so if all you have is bungee on your front deck you're gonna need to make some other kind of attachment point on the back I do have some small 250 cord and I can hook my sail and some other things to that but I also put the back loop of the deck bag through that loop of 250 cord and it works out just right so basically you just take your bag and start running the webbing and buckles underneath your deck lines. Alright, so that's really all there is to it. Six attachment points. They got good hardware. It stays locked in there. It's not really moving anywhere. You can sense that down a little tighter, but it's not really necessary. And that's the review. Overboard 20 liter deck bag. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's the only one I use and for good reason. It keeps everything dry and it never lets you down. Okay, a bonus pro tip. This is a cockpit cover. And this is used to keep critters out of your boat or water out of your boat or things in your boat from getting out. It's just a cool little thing. But I see a lot of people having trouble getting these on. Uh, spray skirts can be difficult. There's kind of a trick and a technique to it, and cockpit covers are no different. All right, to start off, most cockpit covers have a little attachment point, which is useful if you're driving and you're afraid this is going to blow off in the wind. If it does, this will still keep things attached to your kayak. But let's start by clipping that onto a piece of bungee or deck line or whatever you got up front. And then go ahead and find the center of your back, which is usually where the pigtail of bungee is, and place the back on the cockpit. Now, as you see, normally this is a like two hands and three elbows kind of maneuver, 
but that little uh, attachment point on your bungee is tensioning the cockpit cover so it keeps the back on for you. So the next thing you do is to grab the cockpit at the 10 and 2 position and basically put that on. And again, you're pretty much done. Just wrap the sides over. And that's your pro tip on how to put on a cockpit cover like a pro. You know, when you're at the put in or at the takeout and you're fiddling with this thing, you can lose a lot of cool points if you don't know how to do it. So pro tip of the week. So while I'm here with Nana, I figured I'd go ahead and show off my River Rooster sticker, my Canoe Hound Adventure sticker, and my UGQ sticker that have recently been put on there. So you've probably seen the Southside 55 Firehog sticker and most of the other ones, that's a personal favorite of mine. But up front here, we're gonna add a couple new stickers. Get my overboard sticker on there. There we go. All right, I got one more sticker to put on right here next to Justin Tilson's All Things Outdoors sticker. I think I'm gonna drop this sticker given to me by Billy Hagee from 12 Stones Adventures. And I think that'll go nicely right there. Oh yeah. Like it grew there. All right, pretty cool little sticker there. That's Billy Hagee from 12 Stones Adventures that sent me that. Go give him a look. He does a little kayaking, a little backpacking. Kind of just getting started with the YouTube thing, but uh, we all were there once. If you have a sticker you'd like for me to put on the boat, send it to me at P.O. Box 222, Saxbaha, North Carolina, 27340, and you can label that River King World Headquarters. Send me the sticker. I'll try to get it on the boat somewhere. If you want a sticker, you can mail that same address, but send me a stamped self-addressed envelope with $1 per sticker. I'll send you back a River King sticker. That's the video. I'm Pete with the River Kings. Thanks for watching.